Hello, my good boys and girls. Before we get started, do you mind hitting that subscribe button so I hit my goal of becoming a YouTuber? It's literally a dream of mine since this is my second channel ever started, but anyways, let's get into the video. So the whole event that prompted this video is because of female Valorant Pro going by the analysis Bob, which she was also in a lot of tournaments if you don't know who I'm talking about, um, was recently caught in some drama, and this is a pro that I truly admired and honestly aspired to be. Um, seeing her in drama just kind of solidified how I felt about the female community on Valorant. First, I'm going to explain the drama I walked in on. I was searching around for a female inspiration just because I wanted to. And I remember really liking Bob out on the tournament scene. You know, her impact was really nice and having an idea of what it's like to have a female out there who's getting recognition from both male and female was really inspiring. So I decided to take a stroll to her Twitter and the first thing I see is that she's been on a hiatus for the last month, which is cool, none of my business, but but basically caused her to go on a hiatus is that she had a very public breakup with wait I realized I didn't want to reveal it yet people that we know just like you guys I had no clue on who she was dating but don't worry guys she tells us almost every detail of what went on for the past two years so it's okay buckle up so I scrolled literally to the next tweet and she reveals that she's been dating Katsumi for the last two years and yeah I know no one knew but the drama all kicked off when Ken or Hey, I'm gonna just put his name on the screen. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I forgot to add in here that he's also a Valorant pro, okay? This is all in the same circle of people. I mean, that's usually how it goes anyways, but hey. Don't lie and say you haven't dated someone from your friend group. I'm looking at you, sissy and bro. I know you have. But calling him Ken for short, swooped in and I guess took Bob's girl. Um, this is Bob's response to all of it. Um, I'll read a little of it, but honestly guys, I don't really want to be involved, but here. So this is a little bit of what she's talking about. She says, I want to be open about this because the last two months have been hell for me and I want to have a clean slate moving forward. Me and Katsumi uh, were in an on and off relationship for almost two years until she broke up with me at the end of June this year. Things post breakup were extremely messy. I ended up in a really dark place mentally. It it's not hard for most to figure out who was involved in the situation, so I want to make it clear that I don't hate or blame anyone involved in this mess, especially since me and Katja were in a private relationship where we both appeared single and nobody knew about our relationship. I don't recommend anyone to agree to a condition like this. I pray for everyone who is dealing with being cheated on and are going through a breakup. So reading this, a part of me was really sad, but then like looking at the grand scheme of it, it's literally just a breakup. I didn't have to be this public and I am a little embarrassed for them. I'm getting secondhand embarrassed meant from how they're handling the entire in? situation. I hate that this is a way I has to be exposed to her. I feel for Katsumi and everyone in this situation because I'm just Damn. a bystander and I feel like I'm getting embarrassment from it. So I also didn't bring up how Bob over the past month has been tweeting at Katsumi. Um, probably in several tweets, I would say seven. Uh, Katsumi did respond at a point. I am going to read it. This is what Katsumi had to say. I explained all of these things to her privately over the months after our breakup and we had extensive conversations about my reasons for ending things. I also asked her many times not to tweet about me. Eventually, I was the one who cut off all contact between us because I, I felt like our communication was only making things worse. She made tweets only days later and I had to choose between defending myself or turning the most private, intimate details of my life into a public forum debate. And I chose to accept whatever judgment everyone made and try to keep moving forward in my life. If she needed to publicly talk about our situation in order to heal, I can accept that. But to me, continuing to post about me doesn't feel like healing. It feels like trying to expose and hurt me. I feel like the truth is being twisted. That I'm really scared to talk about it because it's coming from the person who I exposed my whole heart to for the last two years. This is some really sad information. I feel really bad for Kitsumi. I can only imagine how embarrassing it is, but hey, it is what it is. I'm not going to yeah, talk I mean, about it too much, so I don't shed too much light on it. But seeing Bob's mark being tainted by rays. this kind of information she exposed, it kind of left a bitter taste in my mouth since it's my first time just scrolling on her Twitter. I aspired to be a girl like Bob, and now it just feels like every role model for the woman community in the gaming industry is just tainted. And I'm not being dramatic just because Bob got robbed and Katsumi was a pimp, all right? I'm being dramatic because there's not a good role model in the industry besides Kaide, Senna, and I don't know who else you guys can name, but I'm hoping maybe one day I can be a good example for women creators, of course, but until then, I'm going to keep ranting. I don't mind scrolling on Twitter and seeing outside, my outside. favorite female's body. I mean, I do mind, I'm actually. Bad. This is the whole point of the video. And in what world does that contribute to any skill or impact in the society besides being attractive? And look, I'm not mad because I'm ugly. I'm upset because women never have a good idea of what to strive for. Especially when the male pros usually nice. end up dating a girl streamer that has had work done. Barely any skill in the game. It makes it hard to strive for something. And 
Don't get me wrong, there's no beef between me and anyone's girlfriend besides Shanks, because I love you. He will meet one day, Pookie, don't worry. Anyways, back to just the video. It's just heart wrenching to seeing someone have a cute girlfriend and you want to support them until you see that they're thirst trapping on Twitter. And look, that's probably going to be me soon. I gotta get my views up somehow. But think about it just irks me, especially when you see someone like Kaide. Yes, yeah, she is married to tens, but she pulls in viewers because she's actually good at the game. Or just I want more women to strive for the pro scene and not just sit back and be okay with being a content creator that has to show her tits just to get some subscribers. That's really sad. And to any girl that's younger than me that's seeing this kind of content, please do not partake in it. It's it does track you. There's a such thing called a digital footprint and look. It's not going to be a good look in the next 30 years. And I promise you, you're beautiful enough and talented enough to where you don't need it anyways. Seeing this kind of happen made me also think about how emotionally immature. I'm not going to say Bob is being emotionally immature, but to blast this to the entire world, anyone can go on her page and look at it and they both quit the scene is really sad. Like, I don't know. There's definitely better ways to have handled this. Um, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Until we talk again and like, literally a couple days. Gangbu out.